All right, guys, so nothing about this video should surprise you. You know what I'm saying? Ford Mustang GT, let me say that again, a Ford Mustang GT takes off on GSP, right, in a police chase. I shouldn't have to say more because you already know how that's going to turn out. But I do want to tip my hat to the trooper in the 5'7", because he was driving the hell out of that Charger. All right, he was putting that Charger to the test. On these back roads in Georgia, I got nothing but respect for the trooper. Now, you already know what happened to the Ford Mustang. I don't even have to tell you the outcome, but let's just go ahead and get into it. What's up, guys? This is your boy, Knockout360, here with another video, man. So you can tell I'm the house that makes it the house vlog. You know, I going down, come around, let's get into it. Car content, car shows, car reviews, car meets, anything and everything car-related happens on this channel. So if you're into that, make sure that you stick around. For everyone else, hit that subscribe button, as well as that notification bell, so that you know what's coming out and when it's coming out. So I'm not even going to waste your time. Let's get into it. Shout out to the one and only State Boys. Yeah. I figured it's time to show the Mustang some love. We showed nothing but Mopars and a little bit of everything in between. I don't think I've ever had a Mustang on the channel. So, uh, Mustangs, come to the front of the congregation. This looks like a 2009, 2010 body GT. Yo, what the fuck? What, like, what back roads is this right here? Like, this is my worst fear is getting caught as a black man in a Dodge Charger in the back roads of, of North Carolina by a state trooper. You know what I mean? Like, maybe that's just my, uh, um, you know, paranoia, but I would hate to get pulled over by a police officer back here. All right, so he pulls over. You can hear that V8. You see the GT badge in the middle. Didn't even pull over all the way. He blocking the damn line, lane. Oh. He ain't even pulled out the road. That's what I said. Goodbye. Get a left on this road right here. That's good directions. I just want you to pay attention to the trooper in this 5.7 because he is driving the hell out this 5.7, sticking with this Mustang. that 5.7. He basically in that Mustang's back, uh, back seat. I hate everything about this chase. The back roads, the two lane roads, the fact that they're going through residential neighborhoods, no street lights. I hate everything about this. Terrible place to get into a chase. Ran a stop sign. Turn left on Main Street. Airborne. 
Yeah. I don't like nothing about this chase. Going through residential neighborhoods on a two lane, I don't like that at all. Seven. He pushing that shit. He is pushing that. If he wanted to, he could have done a pit. He could have called him. I think he's just hanging back. Yeah. Yeah, he definitely could have called him. He definitely could have hit him with the pit maneuver. Look at him, he getting close. man like all i'm seeing is is trees and country no street lights some people might say this is a good place to get in the chase because it's like it's just straight road straight country road i don't know how i feel about it i don't like it you already said i'm gonna let him wreck out no, he gonna wreck out. It's a Mustang, of course. That's what you call subtle foreshadowing. going in for the pit. He wants him to wreck out. He knows he's going to wreck out. That's the code for uh, wrecked out with possible uh, ambulance, I think. Um, somebody may be hurt. I think that's the right code. But come on now. Let's go back. Come 
on now. Come on. And show me your hands. I might have to blur out the gun because of YouTube. The ground now. I take you on the ground. On your stomach. On your stomach. Get your hands behind your back. Come on. What are I'm not gonna lie, like this is uh you gotta give a lot of uh kudos to the, the trooper in this case because you're on the back roads in Georgia, it's just you, and you're apprehending a suspect that just took off on you in a police chase. And you've got to take him down by yourself. You don't know how many people's in the car, you don't know what kind of weapons he has in the car, but you've still got a job to do. My hat goes off to this trooper, man. These troopers take a lot of risk on a day-to-day -day basis, because I'm sitting here putting myself in his shoes and it's like that guy could have four dudes in the car with him, all of them strapped, or he could have an AR, he could have a shotgun, he could be weight, it could be anything. But for him to take him down by himself, you know, kudos. What are you doing, man? And he's a real professional officer, Hello? too. Is there anybody else in the car? Excuse me? I can't hear you. Come up on your knees. You got any weapons on you? Is there anything in the car? Are you hurt? That was a hell of a crash, man. Are you hurt? Are you? That's very professional and very polite. A lot of cops, <laughs> a lot of cops wouldn't ask that. I know I wouldn't. If I was a trooper, I'd be a straight asshole. You run from me, I'm probably gonna swing on you. I mean, you know, outside of the the purview of the camera, just for being stupid and running from me. Sure. Dang it, man. Very professional officer. What's that? A lot of things. Come on, watch your step. It's not in your pockets, so. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go through that car. And if I find it, I will let you know. Very professional. Hold on, there's some branches hanging right there. Come this way. I'm Very professional officer, man. My hat goes all to him, man. I mean, at the end of the day, now what I will say is, let's go back and let's do a little research here. Let's assume it's a 2009 Mustang GT uh, V8. Those cars was only putting down like 300 horsepower back then. I mean, let's assume it's a 2010. Let's see. Because you guys probably know better than me what, what year Mustang that was. No, nah, that's not a 2010. That's got to be a 2009 body. So, 09 GT. Yeah, a 4.6 liter V8 engine. Uh, GT Deluxe was the uh, premium. And then it came with the billet. Uh, that wasn't a, bu uh, a bullet. Uh, with the 300 horsepower 4.6 liter V8 engine. So, in theory... That Charger should have ate him up just like it did. You know what I'm saying? So let's not make it seem like it's a 2023 Mustang GT going up against a Charger uh, 5.7. But regardless, you know, it's lighter, uh, aerodynamically, you know, more sound than a Charger. But regardless of that, man, my hat goes off to the Trooper in this case, man. I mean, uh, number one, he knew the Mustang was going to crash out. I mean, it wasn't even a, a question because it's a Mustang. Let's just be real here. Not to mention, you're on back roads in Georgia. I don't even know what part of Georgia this is. You guys probably know better than me. Uh, Troop County, T-R-O-U-P County. That's what uh, uh, State Boys has it listed as. So Troop County. So I'm sure you Georgia boys know exactly where that's at. Uh, State Route uh, 54. But apparently this is this is like deep in the deep in the country of Georgia. And you decide to take off on the trooper. I, I don't like the fact that you would even try that, to be real with you. Um Unless you just know where you're going, and that's the thing. This guy didn't know where he was going. The trooper knew where he was going, but the driver didn't know where he was going. Obviously, he wouldn't have ended up in the damn uh, uh, woods, you know? In a situation like this, you got to have that, that, that wherewithal to know exactly where you are and where you're going. Uh, me, personally, I would try to get on the highway. I'm not doing these back roads, especially in a Mopar. Come on now. A Mustang, a 2009 Mustang is probably better for this than, you know, our cars, but... There's no way in hell I'm, I'm taking this ride in, uh, in my Hellcat. I mean, I would have been in the bushes fucking 10 minutes ago. It would have been a real short video uh, if, it, if this was me. But, I mean, at the end of the day, it 
happened exactly how it was supposed to happen. You know what I'm saying? The trooper himself even said it. I'm just going to wait for him to crash out because he knew he was going to crash out. You know, you don't take those back roads late at night, no street lights. I mean, visibility is terrible. You're not getting out of that. Not to mention that 5'7 was in this guy's back seat the entire chase. He could have pitted him, but he said he didn't want to because of the curves and the turns in the road. He wanted to just sit back and let old buddy crash out, and that's exactly what happened. Like, that's perfect. Nothing was damaged. No property was damaged. Uh, uh, nobody lost their life. Nobody was injured. Dude lost control and ran into the damn woods, which is a perfect scenario for this officer right here. So uh, this trooper. So my hat goes off to him, man. Very professional, handle business. Like, put yourself in his shoes. You, you're chasing this guy late at night, the backwoods of Georgia. You know what I'm saying? You got no backup. I'm sure he probably had backup coming, but he has no backup. It's just him. You don't know how many people are in the car that you're chasing. You don't know what kind of weapons they have. It could be four dudes sitting in that car with AR-15s ready to blast. And it's just you and your police cruiser. And you're chasing this guy in the back country of Georgia. So, I mean, you really got to you got to tip your hat to the to the officer, man. You know what I'm saying? The trooper. Uh, this is a good job on his part. Very professional, polite. Once again, that's more than I could say I would I would be in that situation. You know, you take off running from me and you expect for me to be polite? Not likely. I'm yanking you out the car, taking you down, Hulk Hogan smash, choke slam, big show style. You know what I mean? Throwing the cuffs on you and I'm throwing you in the back of the uh, back of the trooper, back of the, the squad car, and we're taking a drive back to back to headquarters, man. But as always, man. It was a Ford Mustang, to be expected. Let's be honest here. Nothing here surprised you. That's why I told you at the beginning, nothing here in this video is going to surprise you. Like, everything that happened, happened exactly how it was supposed to, man. So, uh, that's that, man. Check out State Boys for the full video. I had to block out some stuff because YouTube trips on the gun stuff. So, whenever the cop hops out and he's pointing it nine times out of ten, I got to block that because YouTube is OD about that. But as always, like, subscribe, comment, man. It's me, your boy, Knockout360. Peace.